Hello, my artist friends. Welcome back to art. I am happy as always to see you and also very happy to introduce a brand new project for today. All right, so this project is called Scratch Art and it's one of my favorites. Even when I was little, I used to do scratch art. So I can't wait to share it with you. Let's find out more about it. So here's the deal. I'm going to show you some examples of scratch art and I want you to really think with your thinking cap on, you can take your thinking cap, put it on, think how did the artist make these works of art? So you're going to wonder, hmm, you might feel curious, how did they do that? All right, thinking caps on, you might want to put our art glasses on too. And let's wonder while we look at the examples of scratch art. When we wonder, we feel curious. Look at the emoji here. Try to make that same face. Hmm. When we wonder things, we have to look closely. So we can also describe what we see. So what we wonder and what we see. Wow, I see so many colors. And you know what? I just made a connection. This looks like a mandala. The mandalas that we were working on for the last couple of weeks. Wow, what else do you see? And in this picture here, what do you see? What are you curious about? How do you think the artist made this? Like in the next picture, it looks like a black piece of paper, but there's really cool colors coming out like a sun and cloud and flowers. All right, let's look at some ECC students who did this project last year. Can you see the materials that they're working with? Does that help you understand how they made their scratch art? Let's look at this one here. Maybe that'll help us understand the process. Ooh, colorful papers, black paint. All right, let's look here. Another ECC friend filled his page with color. Ooh la la. And then he added blue paint on top. Okay, I think I'm starting to understand the process. Then it looks like he scratched away the paint, maybe with a fork or a stick. And this friend even added a ceramic turtle on top that we made in the art room. Ooh la la, what a cool idea. Whoa, scratch art was pretty cool. And now I feel excited to try and make my own. I'm going to show you the steps. I'll show you the materials. So have a watch and then have fun making your own scratch art. So today you're going to need some thick, small white paper. A note card would work great. You don't want it to be too big or else you're going to be coloring for a really long time. All right, then you're also going to need some oil pastels. I'm going to use a black oil pastel on the top. Um, if you don't have oil pastels, you can improvise and use some crayons. And also, you might want to use black paint. I'll give you two different choices. Now, for the first step, you're going to take your paper and you are going to fill it with color. I don't want to see any white of the paper. And once you've covered the entire paper with oil pastels, it's time to add the black or maybe blue, just a dark color on top. I used a black oil pastel, but remember in the examples, you can also use black paint on top. It's totally up to you and depends on what materials you have. Now it's all covered in black. I can't even see the colors anymore. Now here is the magical part. I need to use a something like a stick, maybe the back of a paintbrush. Even a fork works really well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scratch my scratch art. So, hmm, what should I make? Maybe a star up the mountain. Oh, wow. Down the mountain. Cut the mountain. Straight across. Go back home. 
wow, I just made a star. I can also see what happens when I use my fork. Whoa, that looks super, super cool. Now I did a star. You do not have to do a star. In fact, I want you to make this your own. So draw whatever you want today. La, check it out. I finished my scratch art. I made a shooting star and I love how it turned out. She says goodbye. Bye everybody. Enjoy your scratch art and I can't wait to see it. <laughs> Bye.